what is up all y'all freaking youtube freaks it is a beautiful sunday morning out here at buffalo springs lake we got my ultralight set up today throwing a uh, little bitty trout magnet with a little crawl on there and uh just gonna be throwing it around kind of going ultralight today so looking after like mainly some bluegill sunfish crappie maybe some small bass so uh, it's supposed to not get too terribly hot today, so we're gonna throw this around and see how many fish we catch. It should be a good video, so y'all stay tuned. Oh, fish on. Oh my gosh. Fish on, fish on, fish on. What do we got here, fellas? What do we got here? Ooh, it looks like a little largey. Jesus, he feels like a giant on this ultralight. <laughs> oh gosh, he came off. It's right there at the bank. God, goodness. That was on that little that little crawl, man. That little crawl. We'll put some little bit of scent on there. Man, he hit it hard. Ooh. It felt like on this little ultralight, man. It bends really easy, so. <laughs> it felt like I had a monster. Oh, man, just kind of pitching around these pylons right here, letting it free fall. And he took it, boy. He took it. Let's see if we can get another. Fish on, guys. Fish on, fish on, fish on. What is it? I think it's a largey. Yeah, it is. It is a largey. I don't want to flip it. This ultralight setup. <laughs> Look at that, guys. First fish of the day. On that little crawl right there on the top of the mouth. Man, I'm just dragging it. Along the bottom, little dink. This ultralight fishing is fun. I'm thinking about selling all my bait casters. Strictly ultralight. Just kidding. It is a hell of a time though. If you haven't tried it, you need to try it out. Ooh. All right, buddy. There he goes. Awesome. Freaking awesome. Exactly the next cast. The second cast right after that bass. Oh, look at that freaking monster bluegill. <laughs> he inhaled that sucker, man. Oh, this is the most fun I've had fishing in a long time. Look at that. He could not resist the crawl. Look how dark he is. Jesus, the size of my hand. Big old freaking bluegill. The exact same next cast right here after that bass. Whew, I have a feeling today's gonna be a high number fish count. I hope so. That's two species for the day. Whew. That's awesome. Just pitching out here from this rock, about 10, 15 feet. Let it sink to the bottom, slowly hopping it. And then they're biting it exactly the next cast exactly the next cast after that bluegill <laughs> jesus this is awesome it's another large mouth i've never caught so quick a large mouth in my life boom another deeker but it's another bass throwing big worms and big lures and all kinds of big, you know, baits with bait casters around here, and I've caught in like one bass here, ever. And I've already had three. This is the second one I've landed. Look at that on the crawl, man. <laughs> oh man, this ultralight is is where it's at, fellas. That is where it's at. <laughs> That's awesome. Thanks, bud. Every single cast. That's three casts in a row with three fish. Oh man, a couple casts after that. A little bass, get another nice green sunfish. That's the third species for the day. Had some bluegill, a couple bass, and now this beautiful green sunfish. Look at that, guys. Look at the color of the orange on the fins. 
Real beautiful. Just spawning colors. Gorgeous fish. And he hit it like a foot from the bank. As soon as I was going to lift it up out of the water, he hit it. And guys, this is the, the exact same craw I started with. It's gone through like four fish already. And it's awesome. Oh, immediately after that little green sunfish, we got us four species of the day. A freaking crappie. What? The crappie. This lure catches freaking everything. <laughs> this lure catches everything. Bluegill, sunfish, bass, crappie. What more could you ask for? Screw that, dude. I'm sold on this little ultralight. <laughs> I am sold. Granted, they're not monster size, but man, this is so much more fun than throwing big lures all day long and not catching anything. So much more fun. <laughs> I've caught a few bluegill. I didn't put them on camera because nobody wants to see like 10 bluegill in a row, but I've caught a few bluegill. And this is, I think, another largey. Is it another largey? Yes, it is. I'm starting to tell that the largemouth are a little bit further off the bank than the bluegill are. This guy inhaled it. Like, I mean, look at that thing. That sucker is way down there. There we go. On that little crawl again, man. <laughs> I've noticed the largemouth are a little further out and the bluegill are kind of right around the edge. And he hit it out as it was falling. That's freaking awesome. Freaking awesome. <laughs> okay, I didn't have the camera on. Oh, just pitched right over there next to that bridge pile and, and look at the size of this crappie. What? Look at the size of that crappie. On a little bitty crawl. Dang, that's freaking awesome. Put your tail down so you can see how big you are. <laughs> Just pitching it right over there. Man, this sewer catches everything. I'm serious, guys. This is one of, the, by far, one of the best days of fishing I've ever had. That is awesome. I want to pull a little bit harder than the little bitty bluegill we've been catching. What are you? No, 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 get away from them rocks. That was a little largey. A little largemouth bass. Hey, he's nailed one too right there. Yeah. Heck yeah, doubled up. That's sweet, man. Couldn't resist that little green tube. Little dink, but I'll take him. All right, bud. Thanks. I didn't have the camera on for this one, but this sucker is big he just caught one that was bigger than this one just a second ago the crappie are biting this morning gorgeous fish there you go bud other way other way other way i ain't gonna bend over because my fat butt will fall in the water there you go <laughs> Oh, darn. That was a good one, too, man. He had that rod bended, man. <laughs> I guess he liked the chicken, too. What was that called? <laughs> Something chicken. Hot chicken. Hot chicken. <laughs> well, crap. It turned into one of those days where the fish was biting awesome that it stopped. And then the wind decided to blow 40 miles an hour. And I just broke off one of my favorite little jigs. So, to end this day, on a good note, we caught a lot of fish. Up to like five species, I think. And uh, it was freaking awesome on this ultralight setup. So all in all, today was a good day. It kind of came to an abrupt stop. But I think we, I thought I had a good time. I hope y'all had a good time enjoying watching this video. Um, there's a dead minnow right there. Anywho. <laughs> I really hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you could hit the like and subscribe button. Uh, like I said, it was going good. And all of a sudden it just stops like a brick wall. 
But uh, like I said, this wind just came out of nowhere, turned into an ugly day, broke off my favorite jig. So uh, I'm gonna pack it up and get in the truck. And since I'm in Lubbock, I'm gonna go to Cabela's, which is kind of a nice treat for me. So I don't know, I might go to Cabela's, buy some nice new, new tackle, spend some money that I don't need to be spending. But uh, we will see y'all in the next video. Boom!